Okay, so there are two ways to test your app on your phone. One is through Xcode by plugging your phone into your computer and selecting your device instead of the emulator. And this is great for testing during development. However, if you're going, uh, once you're getting closer to distributing your app, you should consider creating an archive of your app, which is a .ipa file, and installing that on your device for testing. This gives you the same experience your users will have when they download the app from the App Store. Uh, and this can sometimes be different than what you were seeing when you were doing it straight from Xcode or in the emulator. So it's important to do. Um, I recently went through this process on my latest app called Touch Screen Text, which you can find on the App Store now. The link is below in the description. But anyway, uh, so to do this, to create this archive file, in Xcode um, and you need to have the emulator set to iOS device when you do this so you go product archive and after it builds the archive organizer should open select distribute uh, well first you know select the the latest um, archive which should be the top one it should already be selected then select distribute and ad hoc distrib distribution. Um, actually, then you're going to select uh, the provisioning profile for this app. You will have to have created a distribution provisioning profile if you haven't done that already. I'm going to have a video that shows you how to do that. I'll put that in the description as well. Then you save the IPA file somewhere you will remember um, on your desktop or somewhere like that. Then you're going to connect your device to the computer. Go ahead and open up iTunes. Once iTunes is opened up, um, you're going to come to a, a screen that looks like this. Click on the name of your device, which should be in the um, top right corner. Okay, And then you're going to go to File, Add to Library. And when the dialog box comes up, you're going to select the .ipa file that you just created in Xcode, the one that I mentioned you probably should save to your desktop. Okay. And then in iTunes, you can go to the app section of your device, and you can select sync. Well, you'll see, first of all, I should mention, you should see the app that you, the IPA that you just selected in the top left-hand corner there um, under uh, apps to sync and then you can go ahead and select sync and the app should install on your device. It might take a minute or two um, while the syncing process happens. And that's it. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. It's definitely something that you should do before you publish your app to the App Store. Thanks.